the action. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. Welcome to another edition of the preview video for a Thursday evening auction. As you can see, the mini splendors laid out before you. That's a neat uh, necklace, maybe West German, occupation era, some tap handles, which sometimes just go crazy. Some good old ones, good old Boulevard local. Those boxes will sell choice in there, and then we'll sell the case afterwards. And then that case, we'll do choice out of there. And we'll sell most of these cases. This will be choice side. Kind of hesitant on this side to do that, but we're rolling with it. So, um, looks like more jewelry. Oh, a couple little Google Nest in there. That's something. Like some old photos and ephemera, more jewelry compartments, watches and rings, and uh, all sorts of stuff, glass negatives. These are really cool too. Because they're like, Hold it up to that light. Okay, it's sort like of like that. Ship. <laughs> Like a cargo ship? Oh no, trains, trains. They're train stuff. That's cool. I know, and we were gonna do some of these on our Facebook one, but man, I just, I don't, they're gonna break in the mail. There's no way they're not gonna break. So that's cool, somebody spent a long time making that. There's some Royales. And it looks like some Noritake Rosewood is what's in there. And there's a whole lot of it. Um, then up here, not a lot up here, so you guys that come all the time know what that means. It, that makes the auction go faster. Um, but choice jewelry might take a while. Doesn't look like we have any coins, so that'll save time. Neat old projectors and some musical instruments and pipes. And there's some... Uh, Saddlery, some tack. Then there's a 2600 with some games, some cannons, box of jewelry, choice compartments of jewelry, choice little box of jewelry. There's a, a military metal detector, I think, or mine detector is probably what that is, which I guess is pretty much the same thing. Some cameras, some cast iron, always clocks and watches, souvenir geisha. Yeah, not most. This isn't packed over here either, so that usually means pretty quick night. So we've got this auction this week, and then there's no auction next week. <laughs> We just need a break, and there's we've got some stuff going on, and there's five Thursdays. It's a good little box there, maybe. And it looks like some models. No barcodes on those. Good stuff, good stuff. Kind of surveyor's kit, old surveying kit. Look like that far fence is just right there. It's in perfect focus. Wow. Can you see through there with that? I doubt it. We can try. What? Oh yeah, sort of. Smash. <laughs> Smash a thousand dollar lens. <laughs> Whatever. That is cool though. Um, and then I don't know. Looks like this cart's probably gonna roll up front. <sighs> Stuff and things. There are these old ass paintbrushes that have never been used, like from the 60s or something like that. Coke trays, vintage toys, stuff like that. Beam, beam, beam. And a lot of different 
some novelty license plates. Cool. And there's a choice, uh, choice toy in the box there, choice cars. Looks like there's some vintage clothes and stuff. Which, you know, we, we're not going to get hardly anything for these. But sometimes we do. Sometimes they, we hit home runs with them, so not really our thing. But then I guess we'll go over here and do this row back here. Handmade toolbox and some gold lights and an oil canister with a spout, neat old carpenter's chest with tools. Yeah, not a ton back here either, so, you know, I think we should be done with the front by 8 o'clock. That, that is cool. That's mine. Hmm. Hmm. MCM purse. I don't know. Is that a garment bag? Mm -hmm. huh. I can see some more military stuff there. And then we'll walk back over to the other side where we usually usually start. And we can look at this stuff again as we meander on over there. Hope to see everybody out on Thursday. Um, remember we have preview from 11 to 1 on Wednesday, so come down and check that out. Um, there's a nice World War II era shoulder harness and another little shoulder harness and then that's a starter gun, a starter pistol. Um, over here, what do we got like some DJ stuff or something? Oh, USB record player so you can put your vinyl, make your vinyl digital. Some bar supplies. Some stage lighting. Nice Sherwin Vegas speakers. Cool stuff. A lot of neat bar stuff over here. And more sound stuff. Bar mats. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, it's a POS Some system. Sort of swipey thing. Yeah, let's go ahead and walk. Just walk down this wall like we did last time. That seemed to work. Some more toys. Um, more bar stuff and vinyl banners. Lots of toys, lots of vintage toys, tractors and trailers and whatnot, and some railroad stuff, and some maskage. And a freaking Beatles album clip to the freaking gate. <laughs>
Good Sorry. enough. It's a nice looking auction. We had not a ton of stuff over here, so we won't get too clogged up. There was a lot on the fence. TV, we'll, we should get it plugged in for you. It works. Um, Want to head back like th through yeah, this? Sure, sure. We'll walk back this way, even though it's kind of the opposite of oh, what we'll do. Sorry. But no, no, it freaking does not matter at all. I don't know what to say about this stuff. Just some stuff. Probably won't take too long over here. Kind of the same here. We'll probably fly through this pretty quick as well. There's some cool stuff on there. Some carnival glass. Then there's a bunch of like cameras and old car parts and like practice amps. GE test set, more of these projectors, a lot of optics, a lot of cameras and optics and stuff in this auction. So that's a lot of fun for a lot of people. What in the heck? I guess it's like a projector and then this must have been like you start a freaking fire back there? I don't know, that's awesome. No, it's just gotta be a vent, there's no way. Yeah, that's, that's cool. cool. Um. No more cool stuff. So many of these. Dang. The camera, land, land camera cameras. Huh? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, no. No. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay, focus. We have fun doing these videos like this. <laughs> Getting distracted. I haven't been up here, so I'm Yeah, no, it stuff. all just kind of came together today like it always does. If you get here in the morning, like, this is never going to happen. And then somehow it does. Every time. That's cool. Okay. Well, let's go this way. Furniture. We've got some furniture. Some nice, nice furniture, for reals. Like these chairs, kind of Hollywood Regency-ish type stuff. You know, it's not old, but you know, I don't know if it was Wayfair or freaking Pottery Barn, but this desk is very cool. It's old. It has these little nubs on it, so there was a rail that went around it that had cabinets on it and they said they were going to bring it but hmm. but they haven't but it's just it's cool it's big it's heavy there's a little kitchen table there's a little table a couple of chairs full-size bed nice clean mattress there then some more just utilitarian kind of furniture you know great for for furniture resellers or somebody that just needs it in their house, some pine 
pieces looks like There's more, more furniture, you know, nice, nice stuff. Nothing like crazy, but I mean, it's all good, good stuff. Cost you four thousand dollars at Nebraska Furniture Mart. <laughs> so these are huge ass speakers that are from. It says Sandstone on here. I thought he, I thought he said Starlight. I don't suppose that it really matters either way, though. Um, you want to go around this other way? Um, yeah. Or are you still doing that? Kind of cut off the bed. Okay, yeah, let's go back. What can you put back on this way? Ugh. I don't know. My path wasn't very logical this time. No, no, I should have gone that way, too, so... What the? Easy bed. Huh. Apparently it's a front gate easy bed. And a trunk and a desk and a little cabinet and antique bed, nice clean mattress. We don't sell mattress if it's not not clean. Um then yeah, just like some trunks. Um some big fisher speakers. Look good, that guy looks good. Um, I don't know if that's leather or not, probably not, but you know, it's got the look. There's a cute little, little piece here. This is a fun auction. It's good. I like having furniture. You know, it's kind of a pain in the butt. And hasn't been doing very well lately. Still, you almost have to have to have to have to have it to have an auction. It just doesn't look right. And that's cool. That like French provincial desk. Pretty fancy. Take that home. Class up the joint. There's a big rug. What dimensions do we have here? Uh, basically 9 by 13. 100% hand knotted wool, India. Cool. Boom. Martha Stewart signature. Sweet. <laughs> this is a not cool twin bed. That's pretty freaking awesome. If you're into sleeping in a twin bed. This one's big. That's a big rug too. That's probably about the same. It says 12 by 9. Yeah, those are nice rugs. Those were not cheap rugs. Oh. Trapped. No. I'm young. Okay. So, follow me to the. Oh, I hate selling these corners. <laughs> so, these are collector plates. Oh my goodness, are they ever. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe we have so many of them. That's craziness. Um, so we're selling them by the box, just as he has them labeled here. You know, we're not going to go into too much detail. I took pictures of every single one of these boxes, so okay, it'll be more Okay, yeah, so detailed. check the pictures out. You know, they should go fast and fairly cheap. As it turns out, collectors plates were not an investment. <laughs> hmm. They sure told everybody they would be. An investment surely to rise in value over time. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think. What I just called that. Look in here. Little. Streamers? Little tool chest. Looks like there's some cleaning wads oh. or something in there. So somebody maybe kept their gun cleaning stuff in there. That's cast something. Some kind of metal. That Seagram 7 lamp is cool. Mm -hmm. uh. That works. <laughs>
Did you touch that? No. Oh. I think that's just what clocks do. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyone you want to go here? Yeah, this chair. More stuff on tables. You could find easily find a good sleeper in there. Would you like to do this? Um, then there's this, this stuff on the wall. Another table full. There's more tables full. This is that cool one that works, right? Um, we got the video of it, remember that? Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know what you're talking okay. about. Okay, never mind. Well, yeah, technically, all this stuff should be tested and plugged in. Sometimes it just doesn't happen, but there's that electrical outlets here and you can do that as well. This looks like some stamps, more painting stuff, and art stuff, some vinyl records, some chocolate molds. Some blown out pioneer speaker. <laughs> A fishing rod. Fishing rod. That's a screwdriver. Yeah, I'm thing. not gonna open that. Um. Cool. Yeah. An auction. They always are, though. Kind of like crafting stuff or oh stop. It scared me. It's like one of some more models. Somebody must have monkeyed with them. Um a bunch of comic books. Fish. That's an interesting wall of stuff. Yeah, looks like a lot. Some more vintage toys um, and some tools. Comment. Oh, I remember this guy. Huh. 
Then... What? What is it? It's like a big speaker, like a speaker. There's an old boat motor. Wizard. Nice quilts. Several of them. So this is kind of cool. You know, probably would have been out front of a like gas station or something, maybe, with a sign on it. Um, yeah, and then you get over here, there's some, looks like maybe some medical quackery stuff. And I don't know, you could do well with those. Violins. <coughs> so, we're moving out next year. Mm. Burning set. That's I was cool. I was once in this in a band and back in the days when you had to send press kits and mm -hmm. Mike you burn wood burned press kits Whoa. to every club and send them to him and got a show every single one. That's awesome. There's fun stuff. Octopus. Freaky deaky fish. Ah, grouper. Ah. It's it. not where that goes. Oh, oh duh, sorry. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just mad at other people for doing that. See, that's how it happens. When people go, somebody move something around. No, they just, like, didn't. I'm excited. Weren't thinking, yeah. It's hard to think. Nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts. Cookery stuff, kitchen stuff. Normally we don't do that kind of thing, but, you know. Um, we have different setups with different people. But even though we sell that, we also sell things that sell for hundreds and hundreds of dollars for them as well, so. records. Ooh. And Clapper. Dang, that's a big freaking box of buttons. There was a time when that box would have sold for a hundred dollars easy. And then, yeah, you know, a lot of these still have price tags on it from whatever and wherever. That's how it is. Some ice skating shoes. More longer burger baskets. Again, one of those things that used to do just crazy. And crazy money, and now, no, not down here anyway. Um, and really, that's about it. I guess there's some stuff on the floor here. Oh, and all the fishing poles. No, the rack's not for sale. I mean, it's for sale for the right price, but it is <laughs> useful. It is a handy. Thing to have at an auction. Is this this week? Uh, I don't. I think no. This stuff sold la okay. last week. Either sold or didn't sell, or somebody hasn't picked it up. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys very much. And end scene.